Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today I want to talk to you about lost coins and something else that is lost. Jesus tells us in Luke chapter 15, starting at verse 8, that there's a woman. She's got 10 coins and she loses one coin. Now she looks all frankly around the house looking for that one lost coin. And when she finds that lost coin, she gets all of her friends, her family, and they come to rejoice with her because she found that one lost coin. And Jesus is saying in the same way, there is much rejoicing in heaven when one sinner repents. That all the angels will throw a party in heaven just for you, just for me, when we repent and come to faith in him and accept him as Lord and Savior, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the Most High and living God. Now, you and I are lost. We're lost in our sins. Just like an illustration of this with two coins, many of us are lost. We're lost and we can't be found. But thanks be to Jesus Christ that he will look high and low for you and for me to find us. So once we're lost... The one coin is gone. Once we're lost, he's going to do whatever it takes to find you and me. You and I are valuable in the eyes of God. He doesn't want one to go away, to go to hell, to fall away. He wants all of us to come to repentance in him. He, that's why he is delaying in his second coming so that all of us can come to repentance. So it is with the kingdom of heaven. That we, once we're found, there is much rejoicing in heaven because we are found. He's going to look high. He's going to look low. He's going to look everywhere. Just like this woman in the parable for you and for me. God loves you so much. He sent his son Jesus to die for our sins upon the cross of Calvary. I encourage each in person listening to me today to repent of your sins. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. Confess your sins before a gracious and merciful God that you have sinned and invite Jesus into your heart. Invite Jesus into your life. As you say, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Make that good confession that Peter made. And I encourage each and every one of you, don't neglect the waters of baptism. They are essential and vital for the salvation process because it identifies us in the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, just as it says in Romans chapter 6. I encourage each and every one of you in Acts 2.38 to repent and be baptized, each and every one of you, for the remission and forgiveness of your sins, and you'll find the gift of the Holy Spirit and eternal life. Today, I encourage you to be that found coin. Don't be lost anymore. Don't be lost in your addiction. Don't be lost in the sinfulness of this world, in all the stuff of this world. Don't be lost in a world of Netflix. Instead, be found in Jesus Christ. And in his name I pray, amen.